hear this noise. All right, it stopped, but it was just doing it. It was doing it for about 30 seconds. Uh, and for a second there, I almost felt a little uh, weird tingling in one spot of my back. Like, look, right here. Uh, <laughs> making the uh, the gay bomb Flint water uh, video and... Uh, the uh, electronic warfare type stuff and the strange internet like interference anomalies and uh, some other people what they said uh, I hope I'm not getting beamed right now man like for real I hope it's I'm just kind of like uh, over cautious like look now it's burning me right here a little bit I don't know man like I said uh, this ooh, 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 ooh. and look I made a video of this happening to me too like i literally thought i was gonna die and it was on hitler's birthday and a few days later i heard they tested some fucking fucking laser beam and it burned a hole the size of a foot from three miles away from some plane into like a pickup truck like they had a pickup truck sitting there and they they uh hit that mug uh <laughs> so look it's not far fetched, man. This is the, I mean, I'm just trying to tell you, man. It's like what 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 Obama say once. The predator drones will see you before you see them. You'll not no, he didn't even say that. He said you'll never even see him coming. And that you know what I'm saying? It, it's just kind of weird. Like Nikola Tesla's family members got uh spontaneously combusted like on his birthday. Like, look, my hand is feeling uh a strange tingly heat too uh just just in case i'm just documenting this man it's like you ever take a nice and anyone out there it's not like bad for you or not it's like a detox or a de uh, detoxifier uh and it gives you this kind of strange burning and look dude i'm not i don't use uh intravenous things or nothing like that so uh don't try to chalk it up to something like that uh I just have to say that because people will say whatever it takes to uh, to discredit you when it comes to this stuff. And this stuff, it's not an exact science. I mean, there's people out there who know what's up. Like the uh, General Stubblebine like, types. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're on like different shows sometimes and they, and they kind of allude to some of the capabilities of certain things. And, and it's like they're also uh, Nick Beckett. I was just seeing him doing a video about how Wi-Fi can mess with you and look infrasound it's like there's some kind of fucking they can hit your fucking pineal gland while you're sleeping with some kind of like, like one of these look with a nudge from uh some kind of like a just a little pulse frequency and it's like it, it's real subtle but it can it can mess with you you know what i'm saying it's it's like and it, there's a field going on out in the earth it's like eight megahertz something like that man or it's, it's something like that but it's like uh, if they just subtly change it, it has an effect on everyone around that's interacting with that energy. That's just like it's out there. People want to say, oh, the energy spirits. And in some cases, that's true. But there's also just the earth energy. It's like, listen, have you ever walked out and stepped in a water puddle like when you're a kid, but we're playing in the water, right? Uh, all of a sudden, our hair stands up. And that, that means like, oh, shit. You might, you almost just got struck by lightning. You can feel it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I, uh, I also took a massage uh, therapy course. I mean, I didn't, I don't like being touchy feely with people in that kind of way. So I, I didn't uh, take to that much. But I still do kind of offer my services to people and kind of give them rough, rough sports massage. And it does. It does do therapy for them. Everyone's like, look, they'll let me kind of, I get to hurt them like Kung Fu, like sparring, but I, instead I'm helping them. It's like, it's kind of like, uh, it hurt, it hurts getting a uh, numb shot before you get your tooth yanked, but it's like, it's going to hurt at first, but if later it's going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, it's the same concept. So, it, and I'm, you know, uh, but anyway, 
my body is more sensitive to that thing because it's been used in that way. And plus, with all the hands working your hands and stuff, it's like the blood vessels are constantly like, it, it, they got a, a lot, it starts to grow more just because you use it different. And, and they're always inflamed from kind of like the slappings and the fucking swinging. Like when you go like this, you can feel your hand feel full of blood for a second. You know, if you do that for a long time, you'll get this weird kind of like uh, pain in your hand. It's because it's like you're forcing the blood to move in it. So if it gets overloaded in that spot, then it's going to drain out. You know, I mean, that's just, uh, that's that Chinese medicine, holistic medicine or whatever. Uh, uh, Like the reflexology type of a mindset, which... You know what I'm saying? It's it, there's there's a lot of truths in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but there's also a lot of like weirdness in it. What I mean is is our Western medicine any less weird? And especially like you know, I gotta live in a world now where I'm afraid that these motherfuckers are gonna be me, like, but not be me up, Scotty. Like be me down, vaporization, pushing up the daisies, man. Uh, it, it's like having me looking like the crazies. But I didn't. That's because they want to see me pushing up the daisies, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. Read the Georgia Guidestone. So look, uh, my caution isn't without cause. It's kind of like you know. It says if you want to be a soldier, uh, it's like don't do no no one no violence without cause, or don't judge no one without cause, or just give them a hard time without cause. I mean, hey, and a lot of times, uh, avoid that if you can anyway, because it's just. <laughs> you gotta uh love people a little bit enough to put your you you gotta put it on the line sometimes. Uh, that it doesn't mean you gotta be perfect, but when the time counts, you gotta put you know you gotta put it on the line, man. So you might have to like me put myself out on a limb here. Like you could assume I'm crazy, like the people in '47 that thought a UFO fell down in Roswell, and all the people they've targeted with their uh, uh, social engineering and shit, and other means, man. Because I mean, they used to do electroshock therapy and MK Ultra, right? Imagine if they made a microwave; they can come outside your window, bam, and you get the same fucking electroshock effect. Or it's different, but it's the same effect because that shock's like Ugh, you. You're all afraid. You're all, and that's what I do in the kung fu too. It's like you relax, and then and then you tighten in a way, and that's what. That's what the electric shock does to you. It makes all your shit contract. And then when you stop, you're totally kind of limp. And it between the limp and the hard, fucking, it like, oh, totally compressed. I mean, I can see an effect going on with that electro fucking shock. I mean, I ain't never, I, I don't think anyone's ever done it to me. But, I mean, that's the whole fucking thing about it, I guess. Uh, if they did, you wouldn't remember, man. Fucking... Because it makes your fucking brain shut off. Keep doing it, someone. But, or, I, you know, I was real close to a lightning strike. Like a big, giant, huge blue bolt, too, as well, once. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Maybe, you know, like like I'm saying, man, it's like... Uh oh I just heard this thing making the noise again. It's like one night I was listening to Alice Cooper. Uh, Nights with Alice Cooper. I mean, he just plays... Al uh, classic rock man and he's kind of funny because he just makes fun of uh <laughs> all the people that write in but i heard the russian wood fucking pecker signal you know that's back on that nick Begich uh hookup but yeah man uh and plus you know you got the more gallons element to this too it's like what if it's not a ray but it's someone who's close to you and they're tormenting you with your nanobots that are inside of you, and all the Morgellons, fibrous, crystalline uh, life forms, alien life forms, the iron mixed with clay, the metal, red blood cells. Who knows? I, I can only speculate. Uh, the spray food, like this dude, like look, a year and a half ago, was talking about, talking about spray food, spray food. And it, they were thinking, oh, they're spreading a pathogen. And I thought later, I was like, wait, what if it's smart dust? What if it's nanoparticulae, you ingest it, it doesn't matter if you ingest it, look, if you're a drug addict, you put it in your dope, you'll snort it, you'll shoot it, you'll eat it, pop it, uh, 
whatever, or uh, smoke it, whatever, man. I mean, uh, they could get it in you again. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it there was the, uh, I heard something they were gonna uh, make uh, this genetically modified marijuana, GMO marijuana, as well. That it's almost like the what, like I was saying about the whole fluoride targeting that uh it has worse effects on different people but basically it's like kind of like a cancer a kill marijuana like it might get you it might work like marijuana all that but they like imagine if they engineered roundup into it that gives the the mice uh cancers and tumors and shit and they can't reproduce in a few uh, generations uh same effect there a scary prospect because guess what you know this is Michigan. There's uh, there is medical marijuana here, and it is accepted. Like like it, it's it's not like damn Amsterdam now, you know. And really, man, weed smokers, man, they mellow out, man. A lot of times they laugh and joke, and they actually it cheers them up, and they get through kind of uh uh the stuff, man. Because I mean, it's sad around here. Like I just had a view into this place, man. It's like atomic bomb went off, and it's that that's a economic war that's like sanctions you know what i'm saying and uh tariffs and uh taxations without representations type of a thing so it, it's deep that's why we have a special breed of gang stalker that uses this type of stuff around here uh and uh it, it, it's scary i gotta live under i of fear it's kind of like on uh, orwell again you were always in fear if they were the monitor was listening or was it off. You always had to assume they were always listening. Uh, and then the the police were flying by in helicopters by the windows, like basically drones. And the ghetto bird flies by here all the time too, man. And I heard that has has a, a red laser on it. And check this out. I've also had, hey, they may be drug addicts, right? But look, some of their intel is good, even if they're high as a mug. And they say they see red lights go up like this, and then they go down, and that's that's drone. The the police or somebody, the the fatty boys, the NWO boys, the, the Joint Task Force, Fusion Center, uh, FLETC types with the the cloaking tech that I knew I was seeing, man, about six years ago because it it emitted this blue green kind of like light it was the it was the non-perfected invisibility cloak i mean now that i actually seen the inviso tech <coughs> now i can go back it's like how can they gain so much close intel on you man and it's like how did they pull some of these things off because sometimes you see your your gang stalkers and you see them like all drive away or all meet up and then drive away you know what i'm saying and and it's just really it is it is like fucking it's a it's a task force it's like kids from uh, college that are going into criminal justice. Uh, it's, it's the snitches, it's firemen, it's uh, you know it's the pharmacist. They the the network. I mean it, that's kind of how it works, man. It's the fucking uh, it's the long arm of the boys in blue. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, and really that long arm is puppeteered up there by like the CIA. And guess what? That's puppeteered up there by uh the devil. You know what I'm saying? And all these wicked technologies, the prince of the power of the air, man. Uh, I got, That ain't really ain't no joke, especially in this day and age. Like, look, me getting zapped once uh, by an invisible thing. I don't know how they did it, but. I know it was something crazy because I could feel this heat moving all around me, going in my mind, going down into my heart, going into my stomach, then down into my legs and in my arms and fucking moving around. It was like someone was painting me with uh, spray with like uh, spray paint, but the spray, it wasn't spray paint. It was like uh, invisible heat that uh, there was no outside heat. It was all on the inside. It was like, but it was moving like in a weird ass way. And I could also feel that, that strong static residual. It's weird. It's almost like a, like a sticky static cloud. It, I mean, I don't know. Was it, was it a dang entity? Uh, I assume it was some kind of weird weapon because I heard a stick break outside of the window and 
if you know and i seen the, the, those those invisible cloaks like years ago and then i'm just like it's just crazy 